We've been hearing about a lot of cases like this lately, haven't we? Many were the child found alive, some with deadly consequences, unfortunately. Joining us now from New York, psychology professor David Diamond. He's an expert in what he calls forgotten baby syndrome. Doctor, thank you for being with us. Um, I, I just, I just want to know, first of all, is forgotten baby syndrome, is it a real medical condition and how widespread is it, if so? You understand first, forgotten baby syndrome is not a medical condition. It was actually coined by the media. It actually describes how hundreds of times in the past 15 to 20 years, parents have forgotten children in cars. Okay, but is it, is it something that you would diagnose in somebody? Uh, again, this is not a medical condition. My observation of forgotten baby syndrome is that this is what happens with completely normal, healthy people. This is unfortunately a tragic way for us to learn about how the brain functions. Okay, so it's not intentional though. It is a true, uh, it, it, it is truly just forgetting to do something as important as putting your child in the car. Exactly. It is truly forgetting it's actually more precisely, it is losing awareness that the child is in the car. In consi consistently what you find in these cases is the parents put the child in the car seat, they begin their drive, and then they report that they completely lose awareness that the child is in the car so that they get to their destination and they no longer are aware that the child is in the car. So as they exit the car, yes, they've forgotten that the child is in the car, they're also not aware that the child is in the car. Okay, doctor, uh, you know, some people on Facebook are having a real hard time with this. Um, one of them wrote, give me a break, another syndrome so people don't have to take responsibility for their actions. Uh, how would you respond to that? I can certainly understand that kind of response. Uh, you know, we, f we forget lots of things. We forget where we park our car. We forget where we leave our keys. Uh, but the idea of forgetting a child in a car, I understand that just seems completely unacceptable. And in fact, I remember 10 years ago when I first learned of a parent in Boca Raton. I drove straight to work, forgot his child in the car, and the child died. This was 10 years ago. And I was as shocked as anyone else was. But as a neuroscientist, what I decided to do was rather than judge this parent, I wanted to understand the pattern. I want to understand how it is that a parent can forget a child. And in studying these cases now over the past 10 years, with the help of kidsincars.org, I've seen that this has happened to hun hundreds of parents, and most importantly, these are fantastic parents. These are really normal, attentive, and loving parents. Okay, so a lot these of people are, the kind are looking people at this. These are people normally forget their children. Right, and saying, but I, you know, if this is really a problem, how do I know I have this problem, and is there any treatment for it? The problem is being human, okay? We are all uh, capable of making memory errors. As I've said in print, if you've ever forgotten anything of value, you are capable of forgetting a child in a car. This is a part of being human. This is normal. It is a tragic but normal part of brain functioning. And although I don't want to, to sound insensitive, but the way to think about this is it's analogous to when we do something out of habit. Okay, we drive straight from uh, work to home and we have every intention of stopping along the way and going to the store and somehow we just drive right past the store and we get home and realize we have no groceries. And so on the one hand, it sounds insensitive to compare the life of a child to groceries. But, but you're uh, saying it's the same, but what's it's the really same thing. I, I, it's, the, it's the same thing. It is blank. an analogous kind blank. of brain functioning. Okay. Dr. Dyer, yes. David Diamond, and thank you so much. And what's really important is the loss of awareness. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. We appreciate you uh, walking us through that.